All right, hello everyone. Shalom everybody. Peace of the Lord to all of you. I decided to come early. Um, you know, first I know like people don't like too much politics, but we have a duty to do, and regardless who like it, who don't. Uh, you know, uh, politics involvement in our life is very, uh, uh, can affect you heavily can affect your economy, can affect your security, can affect everything you do, uh, regardless if you like it or not. And you know the issue that uh, we as a Christians, for a long time, we decide to ignore politics. And the result of that, the pervert of the Democratic Party took over, and now they are even forcing your children to change their gender. All of this is your fault because you decide to go to sleep. All of this is the fault of the priest who told the Christians, Protex is from the devil. But in fact, he is the devil himself because the devil, he don't want you to stand against evil. The devil wants you to give your children to school, teach them how to be pervert how to be awkward, how to be confused, how to fool them, how to lie them. And you, because you thought, and many stupid priests, I call them stupid, I call them evil actually, not only stupid. Because if you don't stand against rape, you are a rapist. If you don't stand, you see, they take verses from the Bible wrongly, and they say, the Bible says, don't fight evil. The Bible is talking, talking about not to fight evil by evil. Not about not to fight evil. The one who witness evil and he stay mute, he is a partner. Uh, tomorrow we will have a debate between Trump and Biden. Now I know some people like him, some people don't like him. This is not my business. Nobody's asking to be in love with somebody and I am not in love with Trump. Uh, I believe whoever is going to be there, people will have negative about him, and that including me and you. The second you are in the stage, everybody will take a piece of you, you know, like uh, you are wrong here, you are wrong there. It's impossible to make people happy. That's, that's a must. It's a must to understand, it's a must to... I mean, God himself, people still are unhappy with God. Like, why God do that? Why God did this? So we complain even about God. So what about complaining about a man who do all kind of bad things? But people who have little intelligence, they knew very simple things. That there is someone, I'm talking to the American, and at the same, same time any, any country in the world. There is someone who will make the price of food so expensive. And the price of gas is so expensive. And the price of heat is so expensive. And it's already so expensive. I don't care if you like Trump or not. For me, it's more about food and gas, etc. For me, it's about what those people are trying to force on our society, especially on children's. Not only they support abortion, they bring your child to school and they tell them, you tell the boy you are a girl, and they tell the girl you are a boy. You explain that to me, and why they are doing that. If you can find an answer, let me know. I don't see any reason except being satanic and evil. And not only that, they are taking children to clinic without even telling their parents. They are making law in some state that a child, his parents should not know whatever happened with him. They, they, they capture you, you know, they are kidnapping our children. And all of you, those who don't go and vote because of you, you are a partner in such a crime. We notice in the, you know, few years in the past, like last 10 years, 20 years, like, Cities like Philadelphia, you know, 
they call it the city of zombies, literally zombies. Not only they are confused about their gender, they are confused about everything. People taking drugs, people sleeping in the road. People, if, if you type right now, if you type the word zombie in YouTube, right away you will go there. They are literally like zombies. And this is 99% atheist city. Is that what you want your town? Is that what you want your country? It is for the benefit of who? They are going in the street, cease fire in Gaza, but nobody is talking about cease fire in Chicago. How many people die every day in Chicago because of shooting between criminals or a criminal against innocent people? How many? All of this shouldn't be happened if we as a Christians stand against it. I'm just searching for I cannot play videos, you know, those videos, they, are, they have uh, people who recorded them and they can flag us for copyright. But just to give you an idea, in case you are not familiar, this is Philadelphia. This is what the Democrat, they want for you. They show you people dying in Gaza, but they are dying because of war. If you don't attack the Jews, you rape your women. And they say to you, those are civilians. The civilians, they were dancing in the street for raping women and even they were beating the captured sex slaves. For me, they are not civilians. You are lying to who? You are fooling who? Everybody is being hypocrite, including the Israeli government. They keep saying, our war is not with Gaza. All of Gaza is your enemy and you are a liar. You see a guy in the CBN, B, TBN, TV, Christian station saying to you that it's not about religion. It is about religion and you are a stupid idiot. This is the religion what you see in the screen. This is the religion of the Democrat. The Democrat is nothing but a foreign party trying to destroy your country. And wherever they take over, this has happened. Zombies. If you see those people in real time, you will see they stand like this for three, four hours. They don't move. Like this, like this. He can't even move. And this is a damage will not be reversed, which means it's a brain damage. It's not like a drugs you can to go to the hospital stay away from it for some time and you go back. No, you cannot come back. You cannot come back. Did you see Biden speaking about his favorite cities? Those are his supporters. This is a city for, I mean, Somalia is a billion times better than this. The land of the pirate. What is this? And you will notice that everybody in the news, it doesn't matter CNN, Fox News, everybody talk about everything except this. If this country have a leadership, the first emergency should be is how to know how this drugs is coming there. <clears throat> is it possible that drugs is coming in such a month, the whole city is going in drugs and nobody knows where the drugs coming from? And nobody knows and nobody capture those who they are selling drugs? So tomorrow, we supposedly are going to have a debate. Are they going to talk about this? No. Both of them.
Can you believe that this is America? <laughs> Are you serious? That what happened when you take away God and ethic from the life of people and you convince them that you are just, you know, you used to be an ape and now you are a monkey, so go and live the life of monkey. And then you don't even live the life of monkey. At least monkey will not take drugs. At least monkey will eat coconut. Monkey will not be smoking. Monkey will be eating healthy fruits. He will be healthy, jumping from branch to branch. Those are not monkeys no more. Those are literally zombies. They are dead. So, what we have in this election is way more important. And we as a Christian, we should, if Trump he won, which I doubt he will win. And I will tell you why I doubt he will win. If Biden was able to win the election by stealing it in the previous election and he was not in the government, how you can win the election when he is the president? If they can dump millions of votes, fake votes, how you can win the election? That's it. You know, the, the, the Democratic Party, they are the same as Islamic terrorist regimes. The second they enter, they cannot leave. And this is what's happening now. Like the previous era is over. The Democrats now are turn, they have a turn in their, in their style. They keep talking about democracy. I mean, let us watch this video together. He was in Philadelphia this past weekend and he asked supporters what tactic he should take on the stage. How should I handle him? Should I be tough and nasty? Or should I be, should I be, she say no, should I be tough and nasty and just say you're the worst president in history? Or should I be nice and calm and let him speak? So funny. Uh, he said, she says no. Some people would say they agree. So, you know, Trump, as usual, is a, this is one of the, uh, the, the good thing about him, actually. He is uh, very natural, and he can appeal to the crowd so easy. But look at this. Tomorrow, the debate will be between Biden and Trump, supposedly. But in fact, no. You see, the CNN is the one who is in control of the debate. And I assure you, one billion percent, that they gave all the questions to Biden already, and they gave him the response to them. You see, have you ever heard of somebody go to the exam, and the teacher already told him what the questions will be? How even Trump, he accept that those who hate him most, his enemies, the Antichrist station, the CNN, they are the one who do moderate, which means they are the one who ask the question, they are the one who silence you, they are the one who switch the microphone, they are the one who can mute the microphone, and they are the one who choose the questions. So question number one to President Biden, and we will give you a hard question. Do you like chocolate? Uh, yeah. Thank you very much. Amazing answer. Mr. Donald Trump, is it true that you are convicted felon and now in the eye of the law and the public you are a criminal? How you can answer that? We know what the game will be. And let me give you a sample of the CNN. CNN, they invited the spokeswomen of Trump to speak. Okay. What happened? Watch carefully. Happened. That's why President Trump is knowingly going into a hostile environment on this very network on CNN with debate moderators who have made their opinions about him very well known over the past eight years and their biased coverage of him. I'll also say that if you 
talk to analysts of debates uh, previous, that if you're attacking the moderators, you're usually losing. It would take someone five minutes to Google Jake Tapper, Donald Trump, to see that Jake Tapper has Ma'am, consistently we're going to stop this interview if you're going to keep President attacking Trump my colleagues. Adolf Hilter. I, Ma'am, I, I, I'm going to stop no, this interview I'm, if you I'm continue stating... to attack my colleagues. You cannot attack my colleagues. Can you? I mean, we have tons of videos about your colleagues saying they want to be having party to see Trump go into jail. All of those are the ones who will control the debate. Ma'am, I will not allow you to attack my colleagues. Who are your colleagues? Look at this face. Look at the stupidity. They claim that they, they, they are the one who called the lady to, to speak to them. And now they were, no, 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 you cannot say that. No, 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 you cannot. They claim to be a station of democracy, but no, you cannot say that. Democracy, you know, the first thing democracy is about, supposedly somebody can criticize you. So if those people are the one who will take over the debate, and the one who will in control of the debate are a bunch of a scumbag, they have history of hating Trump. They have hundreds of, actually they make living from attacking Trumps. In fact, CNN, now they will get God knows how many hundred million dollars will make just by one hour of debate between Trump and Biden because they own it. And I don't know why even Trump, he agreed. I mean, shouldn't you say, okay, let's bring a moderator who is not Democrat, not Republican. Someone he is not with me, not against me. Someone he is not with you, not against you. Why CNN? The women she is saying, well, the one who they are in charge of the debate, they are a Trump hater. So we know what will happen. The answer is, you cannot say that. But is she lying? We can play right now tons of videos about those two who will moderate the debate, saying all kind of filthy things about Trump. Ma'am, I'm going to stop no, this interview I'm, if you I'm continue stating, to attack my colleagues. I would like to talk about Joe Biden stating, and Donald Trump, who you work for. Yes. If you are here we, to speak on his behalf, and I, I am will willing to have this conversation. I am stating facts that your colleagues have stated in the past. Okay, now, uh, as I'm for sorry, this guys, debate, we're going to come back after the panel. For... <laughs> so, uh, was she attacking the colleague or stating facts? Here's just one. <laughs> so, how the debate will run? Who is going to debate who in this debate? Obviously, Trump is going to be debating CNN. Joe Biden is this guy here. His brain is not functioning. How do he can walk? And now he is studying what he will say. He keeps repeating, like they wrote for him what he will say, because now we know the questions. The one who will ask the question are his not only friends, he is the biggest supporters. So they are giving him the question for the last 20 days, and he is studying the answer. So all what you need to do, go in the stage, say the answer. Even that, I think he will fail. Because his brain is not functioning. Is he going to remember what, the, what, he, what he taught him for the last 20 years, 20, 20 days? I don't think so. We will see that tomorrow. But look, even those who they are from them, look what happened. This is the previous mayor of New York. He is pure evil Democrat. But now, because Democrat, they despise, they dispose him. You know, like he is, there is no use for him no more after what happened in New York, and all the the, the garbage he brought to New York and all the scandals and all the, you know, all of them, they are corrupt. So now the guy, okay, you know what? My agenda, like the Democrat agenda is not too much important. Let me, let me be honest for one day. And look what he said. In New York, you're in Florida, uh, Georgia, and two in New York. He is talking about the case between the three. The case. The trials in New York, you're in Florida, uh, Georgia, and two in New York. 
The two trials in New York, New Yorkers said, 66% said the justice system is politicized. And there's nobody in New York who likes Trump. And still, 66% said uh, the justice system is politicized. That's why I think he's not paying the same price for these verdicts, because they believe it is political. And you want to talk about a threat to democracy. When you have this country believing you're playing politics with the justice system, and you're trying to put people in jail or convict them for political reasons, then we have a real problem. Well, and I, I... The attorney general's case in New York, frankly, should have never been brought. And if his name was not Donald Trump, and if he wasn't running for president, I'm the former AG in New York, I'm telling you that case would have never been right. brought. And that's what is offensive to the trials See? in New Did you hear it? This is one of them. This is the truth. This guy was their friend all his life. They come to his party, they enjoy his palace, they enjoy his villas, they enjoy his company, they, they make business with him, they, he make a TV show. I mean, he was okay with them. Until they decide to go for politics. Until he decide to join, not them. If he, if a Trump is their guy, trust me, they will worship him. That is the truth. You just heard that all those cases, and this is this is their guy. This is the mayor of the very, very, very democratic city, the biggest city of Democrat in USA, New York. All those cases are nothing but to stop Trump from winning the election. And now in July, they might even go farther with their madness and say we will put him in jail. In the best scenario, they will say he will be jailed at home. So he cannot run the election, he cannot go and speak, he cannot talk to people, so he cannot generate vote. They are doing everything they can to stop the man. So tomorrow debate, and I say to you and you will see, is going to be a debate between Trump and CNN. And I think uh, Biden will fail, even though they told him the questions and they taught him the answers. Because this guy, you know, it's not a secret. I mean, he's too old. His memory is not functioning. His brain is not working. He frees. He might freeze on the stage. He forgot where he is. And look what the CN, uh, CNN did. No audience, no audience. And when one of them is not talking, they will mute the microphone. All of those things is to avoid the embarrassment in the front of the crowd. So there's no audience. When your time is up, we mute your microphone. <laughs> and I believe the reason they want to mute the microphone because Biden, he will start making noises. He might sleep on the stage. If you ask me, those debates are not debates. Those are a, those are a joke. What is this? What about we have a debate where no, no, uh, uh, you know, no TV station called CNN or Fox News, and we bring a crowd, bring a crowd, normal people, normal people, huh? Like now here, like who wanna call me? Put your hand up, ask question. You can bring a crowd from every, like you say, we have a. Uh, let us say, um, uh, two major party in this country, bring 50 from here, 50 from there, uh, 20 from uh, like um, in the middle, whatever. And, you know, like uh, make, uh, let us say, uh, <laughs> Lotto, 
but on the names who ask questions. So I chose like let's say five from the from this party, five from that party. Not not pre and the the question should be made now, not a century before the debate. Those kind of debate is the same as the debate you see between Christians and Muslims. You know. Uh, where we set up the uh, the topic three month period before the debate. Uh, we will debate about the Trinity. Uh, so the Muslim now he go and he collect all everything in the internet to attack the Trinity. So even an article. And the Christian he go and collect all the article which is refuting those things. So this is not a debate. What about you print both of you the question and the answers and publish them? They're already there. A real debate is when nobody knows what is going to be said next. A real debate is when nobody knows what even the topic is. Any question. This is the guy he will run the debate. How fair he is. He is a CNN boy. Rhetoric of Adolf Hitler is once again yeah. alive and well on a national political stage, this time given life by former president and current Republican presidential frontrunner, Donald Trump. You know, Harris, we don't know what Jake Tapper is going to do when he asks those <laughs> questions. Uh, you can go on. So you have the guy who is obviously hate Trump. rhetoric of Adolf Hitler is one he consider Trump Hitler can you believe it who Hitler why what did Trump did to be Hitler is he like you who support Hamas who want to kill every single Jews? Is he the one who go and wear the Hamas sign and carry the pictures of Hamas leader? Is he the one who says uh, Palestine free from the river to the sea, which means kill all the Jews? Or this is your party? Isn't it Trump? And the only president who signed to move the embassy of USA to Jerusalem, something every president before him claimed he would do it, but he don't dare. What this guy is talking about? Hitler. The Democratic Party is a Hitler party. They support Hamas. They are preventing Israel right now from attacking Hezbollah. The only reason Israel cannot attack Hezbollah until now because those fascist Nazi party, they stop sending weapons, sending an mission to Israel. And not only they threat Israel, they did it. And now they are threatening Israel. If you go at war, we will not stand with you. We cannot. You are by yourself. So now they are betraying a country who they are badly in need. You see, many people think that Israel need USA. In fact, USA need Israel more. Because all the friends of USA are not friends. The only country you can call them a friends and here the word of friends is like I would put it between two brackets, you know, in, in politics, in war, in there's nothing that's called really friends. It's called about a strategic decision. This is the party who support the terrorist around the world. I can say from 10 decisions Biden he make, maybe one of them is correct, and nine, if not more, 
are wrong, very wrong. In the case of Trump, I can say the opposite. From 10 decisions he made, maybe 9 or 8 is correct and 2 is wrong. You know, I believe a Trump, he is making a big mistake. Shouldn't he go and sue this station? Even if they are a media and they have protection. When you say that somebody is Adolf Hitler, what does this have to do with the freedom of his speech? You have to prove it now. You should take him to court and let us see if you can prove what you said. If not, obviously you are causing a big harm to my reputation. Lying about me. Adolf Hitler, one shot. There is one thing you need to know. Trump is hated by many, especially the war industry. Like many, they think that you know Biden is supporting Ukraine because he believes Ukraine is right. For me, I really, I am against the stupid Putin and his decision to go at war with Ukraine. Big, big mistake. But the Democratic Party are not in support of that war because they love Ukraine, but because the war industry making billions and trillions. Trump, when he came previous election, he said no war. We will withdraw from Afghanistan. We will go from there. We will get out of Syria. We don't. We won't have zero war. The first president ever in USA in the history of USA. He want to have zero war. Now, sometimes you wish for something. It doesn't mean it's going to happen because if the enemy attack you, it's not your choice. And that what made them hate Trump. How those weapon making companies they will flourish if there is no war. How we are going to make more weapon and more ammunition if nobody using it and nobody buying it. And the war industry we are talking about, we are talking about trillions of dollars, not billionaires. Those are massive. That's why they hated Trump. Trump must go. Trump, he must go. And I hope that they will not go farther and try to do something with him. Way more than just what you see. Something will cause him to die. The debate tomorrow is just a joke. But it's going to be more funny if their potato Joe bite me even though they gave him the questions and the answers, still he could not make it. Isn't it going to be more funny? We give you the question. Trump delay WW3? Nobody is delaying WW3. Anyone who thinks of WW3 is a fool. They keep talking about it in TV stations because you are a fool. The only thing is delaying the WW3 is everybody have nukes. That is the only reason. If you think there's other reason, you are just a, you are just a monkey. Do you think if the Chinese, they knew that they are the only one have nukes, they will not invade Philippines tomorrow? Or Taiwan? Or any country neighbor? Or even USA? People are stupid and people are silly. They think a president he could prevent it? No, nobody can prevent such a thing except the weapon you have. If they knew they can win such a war, they would do it. And this is the only benefit of the nuke. So those massive countries, they stop killing each other. Otherwise, they will be eating each other the same as they used to do for centuries and centuries before. They knew that if they go to war, if, if Russia go to war with the USA, both of them are finished. The whole world is finished, not only both of them. 
So don't think it's a president who prevent this and that. You are an idiot. There's only one thing you can prevent. War. Is how strong you are. The second you are weak, they will eat you alive. And that goes for everything in life. From the jungle, to the insect world, to the human world. The big eat the small, and the small eat the smaller. This is why Putin go after Ukraine, but you don't get there to attack USA. We have Alaska. Alaska is bigger than Ukraine, but do he dare to ask for Alaska? He don't. He go after the weak one. Do China dare to attack and send their soldiers to the borders of USA? They don't. So they go after Philippines. So if you think you live in the world of justice, you are a fool. The big fish want to eat the small fish. It's a fishy world. But people, because they are naive, and they see the world from there, I'm, I'm going to use a word people know, but don't like it, I know. But you know, I have to use it, I know. I, I, I speak in a natural way. You like it, like it, don't like it. They see the whole world from a hole in the size of their anus. And they think what they see from the hole of their anus is what is what is the truth. And what is the hole of their anus is either Fox News or CNN. The reality is way bigger than what you think. Nobody is a friend of anyone. Those countries, all what they care for is business and money and power. Going back to our topic, <clears throat> the debate tomorrow is going to be a mockery for democracy. For this is not how debate can be done. And I believe Trump is making a big mistake to go in to the land of the enemy. And I literally, I say the word enemy, for those are nothing but enemy. As you see, they are the, the guy who will be the more on the debate, this guy, he is considering Trump Adolf Hitler. <laughs> and the women will be with him is the same. So how we can have a fair debate? And here you see, it's not like they would be just moderators. No, they are the one who decide with the questions. They are the one who come with the questions. How that can be a debate. However, I hope that their zombie Biden will freeze on the stage and he will forget where he is and he start bumbling, dumbling, uh, 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 you know, the, and I hope uh, uh, Trump will ask him, is it true that your uncle was eaten by zombie, by the cannibal, you know, those who eat a human? <laughs> Tell us that story, please. This guy, I mean, this guy is mentally ill. He don't be, not only he don't fit, I mean, this guy, he don't fit when he was healthy to be anything. This guy is a scumbag. Look what, look what Obama did when he was, Obama is a young man. What Obama did when he was a president, he sent $600 million to the terrorists in Syria, who they are now invading Israel. That's the truth. Obama and Biden right now is the one who protect Hezbollah. They prevent Israel from having an emission. You know, Israel is fighting now almost for a year. So their warehouse is empty. Which means they are in desperate need. If they want to go with Hezbollah, Hezbollah is way bigger than Hamas. However, war with Hezbollah will be way easier from the war with Hamas. Why? 
because there there's no limit of what they can do they can burn the ground and for those who say that Iran is so massive they can you know like I heard many general in the CNN and even Fox News says Hamas, sorry, uh, Hezbollah have a m more than 150,000 rocket, etc. All of this is garbage. Because Israel, if they have to, they can nuke. We know who's going to win the war from now. If they have to, they can nuke. Will take them two seconds to finish the whole war. And you know the story of Samson. So if Samson, he was willing to destroy the temple on the enemy, the Palestinians, by killing himself, in this case, the Israeli are not going to kill themselves. Their enemy will die alone. So they knew the limit and they knew that if they push it harder on Israel, Israel can wipe the ground with Iran and Hezbollah in two seconds. So I have no question about who is going to win the war. But because Israel, they don't want to use such a weapon. The nuke of Israel is beyond your imagination. The word nuke is actually an old phrase for an old weapon. What they have now is way beyond. Nuke, the word nuke means nothing for Israel now. Their weapon is so powerful. And this is what making all, you know, if you watch a hyena attacking the lion. You can go right now on YouTube and watch a video of hyenas attacking the lion. You will see like 60, 70 hyena. One lion alone. Just the lion don't even move. He don't even move his head. They don't dare to get close. And the only problem now with Israel, they don't have a leadership. They don't have a lion. They have a politician. His name is Netanyahu. However, even this politician is scaring the hell of them. Hezbollah start announcing, if you do that, we will do this, because they are scared, they are terrified. They are hoping that Obama will protect them and prevent Israel from doing what they should do. But I say, if the Israeli waste the opportunity now to go after Hezbollah, Hezbollah will grow, and in the future will be more dangerous. It is their opportunity now to put this filthy dog, Nasrallah, in his place. And then they will have a peaceful neighbor who don't dare to open his mouth or else. In 2006, Israel attacked Hezbollah for kidnapping one soldier. Hezbollah leader, he said, the same donkey, he is now the leader. If I know, I will not do it. Which means if I know that this is what will happen, I will never do it. This is what Israel should do now. But this time should be way more, more massive and more strong and more powerful. And they should create a buffer zone inside Lebanon where those Hezbollah cannot get close ever again. So I'm not going to keep you longer. I know many people will not like me to talk about politics and I don't care if you like it or not. I'm not here to entertain you and speak about what you like and I speak about I will not speak about what you don't like I'm here to speak about what I like to speak about who like it who don't that is the loss of my worry the same we stand for our belief as a Christians we stand for the truth and the truth will set us free we heard many they get upset they say why you stand with the Jews when they insult Jesus all the time well, the best, biggest insult to Jesus is you. Because if you think standing with those who own the land is against Jesus, that means you do not know that Jesus, he promotes justice. That means you do not know that Jesus himself is born there. That means you agree that the people who Jesus came to them first, they should die. We stand with Israel, not because the Jews are the perfect people. I'm not perfect too. But this is their land. And if you believe in the Bible, well, this is what the Bible says. 
Either you believe in the Bible or you don't. So don't call yourself Christian. And the Bible is so clear. This is their land. And remember, I'm an Arab. I'm not a German. I am an Arab. And I say this is their land. This is the land of the Jews. Even in the book of the donkey Muhammad, they ask him, who is the, who is the one who built the temple? He said, Solomon. <laughs> Even in the stupid Muslim books, in the yellow pages of Muhammad, it says it is Solomon. <laughs> Sorry, I need to drink some water. <clears throat> so anyway, people can say whatever they want to say. They can do whatever they want to do. But Christians who they are, believers, they stick with their belief. We are not sticking with politics. We stick with our belief. Trump is opposing all what they do, and every do those Democrat is evil. You cannot be a Christian and you vote for someone. He put the flag of homosexual in the White House in the day of Easter. Easter day. The White House is the house of the president. It's not a house for sexuality. What if a president, he put a cross? Flag have a cross, they would go crazy. Biden is the only president who forbid Catholic, Catholic, remember, listen carefully, he claimed to be Catholic. He forbid Catholic from doing service in the Memorial Day. 60 years the Catholic they do such a service, and Biden, he forbid them. Then the Catholic Church, they sue Biden administration, and then they notice they will lose, so they allow it. Joe Biden administration is the one who consider every Catholic church is a terrorist location. They spy the FBI instead of spying at uh, Al Qaeda, ISIS. They are spying at the Catholic. Why? Because they don't want abortion. That make them terrorist. Remember one thing, the Lord said, from their fruits, you shall know them. We don't care for the name. We don't stand with the name. We stand with the fruits. If a Trump, he switched to be like them, we will go against him. As simple as that. Never fought for the person. Vote for what he stands for. Don't vote because he is white or black or Asian. Vote for what he stands for. We are Christian. We are not racist. Either you are with the Lord or you are against him. There's no so-so. And those who want to change the gender of our babies, they are doing evil in the eye of the Lord. And you know that very well. So if you want to be a moist, you know, liquidated, uh, you know, Christian, like you are so-so, or, or the one who call themselves open-minded. By the way, if you are open-minded, can I sleep with your wife? We hear those things always like uh, be open minded, be open minded. I mean, this is the this is the most stupid statement ever you hear from anyone. Open minded. Like, you know, do you have to have like you know? Is it okay? If somebody, you know, come to your house and sleep with your wife. You know, open minded. You know, be open minded. Hey, are you open minded? Uh, yeah. I, when it's come to immigration, I am open minded. Oh, okay. So why you have a fence around your house? Is it okay to to trespass in your house? Can I go? Why you? Why you have a door? Why you lock it? He's open-minded, you know. Can I take your money to give it to the migrant? 
Uh, no, you cannot. But you can take the tax of the government. But this is our money. This money we pay so you can make roads, you can build the schools, you can, you know, you can do things with it. They open the borders, 11 million people they can't, and what those people will get jobs, how they can live? Prostitution, crimes, theft. A woman, she crossed the border. The Democrats, they don't care really for anything except to bring in more so they can later become Democrat. That's the whole idea. But do you ask yourself, a woman, she come from Uruguay. She have $10 in her purse. If she have them, maybe they don't even have them. Poor people. I'm not putting them down, but I'm telling you reality. What this woman she would do for a living? What will happen to her? She will be used. She will be abused. And mostly she will be a hooker. And the poor man, he will be hired by the drug cartel. We know what's going on. Those people, they are desperate to go to a better life. But we know what will happen to them when they enter the country. Every scumbag will take advantage of those poor people who have no papers. They have no ID. And because of that, we don't pay for their health insurance. We, pay, we don't pay tax for them. And we give them a very tiny wages. If the wages for American person 5000 this guy would take $400 and he would be so thankful for having those. We know. So tomorrow we are going to watch a bunch of clowns from the CNN and their clown Biden trying to corner Trump. What do you think will happen? I hope and mostly I'm sure. I know that Biden, they will give him all kinds of protein, energy drink. I think they will, they will pump him with energy drinks or energy bills to make him more, like he can move in the stage, like, you know, like young man. But is those things will make his brain function too? We will notice what will happen tomorrow. All right? So, Leave your comment. You don't have to agree with me. I don't care if you agree or not. Tomorrow is going to be a comedy time. And I believe Trump, he made a big mistake by accepting CNN as the one to be the moderator because The question is already with Biden. They will not be fair. And they will try to switch the victory into a defeat. We know them. He should not even accept that this guy is specifically to be there, the one who called him Adolf Hitler. Why you accept? Okay, you accept CNN. What about you say not those two people? Trump is being so friendly and maybe he is being so confident and I hope he would do good tomorrow. However, at the end of the day, his debate, the debate will not do much different really. Even Biden, he might look so stupid. At the end of the day, people will go to the grocery store and they will notice that they have no money. Uh, housing prices are so crazy. Gas prices are so crazy. Border is open. Crimes increasing. Rape. You know, those migrants, they come from around the world more. They have more, they, 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 they announce that there's more than 50 ISIS members already inside USA. But they cannot fight them. 50. So why you allow them to get in? Which means they went through the border. They say they vet them, which means they took their names, their information, they asked them a question and let them go. Now you notice that they are ISIS. <laughs> what a messed up government. What a messed up administration. And you know what? 
when I say always garbage in, mean garbage out, that work perfectly with the Democratic Party. Otherwise, in the recycle world, garbage in can make a good thing. You recycle it. But can you recycle Biden? You bet. Thank you all for being here. May the Lord bless you. God is good, so is Jesus. Don't want to the video before they take it down. Because YouTube, they love me. And for sure, I love them too. We are broadcasting in YouTube and in Rumble. So in case this video disappear from YouTube, you will find it in Rumble. All right? Thank you again. God bless. And see you soon. God is good. So is Jesus. And those who don't stand against the evil, like the Democrat, they are not. They don't belong to the Lord. From their fruits, you shall know them. And the one who, you know, who vote for Democrat, he is voting for the bad fruit.